Yeah. Okay, here we go. Looking out over the fair. Lots of rides, lots of food. Boy, it was smelling good out there this time yesterday afternoon, just wafting across the fairgrounds. Here we go, 79. That's not bad at all for a fair temperature and humidity in check. Not muggy at all. That's good. Another beauty tonight. So we're looking at low 60s tomorrow morning. Really all week long, it's perfect. And if you're digging these kind of numbers, which I mean by that, you know, some low to mid 80s for daytime highs, Go ahead and take that in because once we get into this weekend, not saying we couldn't find 80 plus maybe later on down the road, but we're supposed to be dropping on down and this coming up front this weekend is going to do that. So dark green dew points, bigger humidity for Alabama, Mississippi. For us, we're kind of pretty much dry ish out there and there is the radar shot. It's going to continue to look like this as we go across the board. Satellites, the only thing really getting any work in and that's just finding a few clouds off and on. So really an uneventful week after a very eventful week last week and to find rain as I mentioned earlier you got to go west of the Mississippi. All right, so let's dig on in and see what's up with future view. It's not going to be very active <laughs> at all. Uh, again, you'll see a few clouds maybe tomorrow afternoon. Let's go forward into tomorrow night. Now Thursday we'll call it partly to mostly cloudy at times. And that's pretty much it as we go into Friday. The same thing. This will take us into Friday morning. So we'll roll over into the long range look and you can see the frontal boundary back toward the north and west. Friday looks great for us. Football Friday night for us looks great as well. Let's go forward into Saturday. This is what we would call moisture starved, meaning not a lot to work with as this front comes through to make rain almost not even showing up here as we get into Saturday midday into the afternoon. So at this point, not looking for this to be a big rainmaker, definitely not looking for a washout. But then the overall effect of this front will be much uh, more noticeable for everybody. Once we go Saturday night into Sunday, cooler, drier stuff rolling in, and that's going to continue as we go on into Monday, Tuesday of next week. So let's talk about the numbers in the short term. We'll have low 60s in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll come back up to maybe ah, some low to mid 80s out there, and we'll continue that as we go into Thursday here. You can see some low 60s in the morning. Thursday afternoon, back to the mid 80s again. Dew point time. Eh, it's not muggy. That's great. So still feeling great as we go on through the next handful of days. The dark green is either underneath us or out toward the west. And we're going to wait for that front to come in this weekend. And it's going to make a big change for us. There's the seven day. We'll go with a transition day on Saturday. We'll see if anything rain wise comes out of this. Otherwise, we drop down low 70s maybe starting Sunday. And overnight lows could be dropping down into the 40s. Another big shot of fall on the way. We're back after this. <laughs> 